Conte goal by Louis Sibley. Blackburn at home today. What am I thinking ahead of this one? Well, with Blackburn currently sitting 10th and Derby sitting 14th, it's obviously going to be a tough one. They're higher up than us in the division. They could be looking at the playoffs this season if they can string a good bit of form together. There's only 10 games left of the season, including today's game. But we're at home and our home form in the league is decent. Obviously, we lost to Manchester United 3-0 at home on Thursday night, but we didn't play our strongest side. So I expect our strongest side out. Maybe even Louis Sibley will get a run out today. I think he should do. He was quite good against Manchester United. But Blackburn, there's some good plays in there that we've got to be careful of. Danny Gray and Bradley Dack. Bradley Johnson coming up against us, former player of ours today. But I'm going to say a 2-1 Derby County win. Why? Because we're at home and I think the home form is what's pushing us this season. Obviously, I know our last away game, we did win 3-1 over Sheffield Wednesday. Earlier on the season when we played Blackburn, it was a... It was a poor game, quite a boring game actually, and it ended up 1-0 Blackburn, goal late on in the second half, but I don't think either side deserved to win that one, it was quite a boring game, but I've heard that if we win today we're only five points off the playoffs, I'm not aiming for playoffs this season, no way, I just don't think we're good enough to compete with the sides that are in the playoffs this season, so I wouldn't really want to get in there and have the disappointment of losing out but why am I talking about the playoffs so hopefully we can do it today three points would be nice with 10 games to go including this one we've really got to kick on now and see how far we can get up the table come on you Rams chance there for Blackburn if he'd have got his foot round it he probably could have stuck that bottom corner but he's sent it wide over the bar Blackburn have had the better of the chances so far Bird made a great run all the way through the pitch, got to the edge of the box, probably could have had a shot himself, laid it off to Waghorn, Waghorn looked like he might have been fouled but the ref didn't give it. Goal by Louis Sibley. He had time to take it, took a touch, hit it, went wide with the goalkeeper, but into the top left corner. Brilliant finish. 1 0 Derby. Oh, Sibley on his league debut goal. Took on about three of them, got around them, took a shot. Good save, Blackburn keeper, but Sibley's full of confidence. Lovely ball into Martin Waggle, and he was in there, but keeper makes himself big, but it's a good chance there to make it 2 0. Could argue that Waggle should have scored there. Good move from Derby. Louis Sibley changed the tempo of that attack, took it much quicker, played it to Shinny. Shinny took the shot, saved by the Blackburn keeper. But Martin was an hand on the rebound. 2 0 Derby just before half time. Really good play by Derby. Max Bird took it, played a lovely ball for Martin Waggon. And he thought he'd gone in, everybody thought he'd gone in. He took it around the keeper and then came back off the post. Thought that was 3 0 there. Quick half 
time trap. Good first off from Derby, really solid, put in some good challenges, won the ball well, the two goals taken well, but Waggon's chance at the end, could have put us 3-0 up, but it just came off the post, I've watched it on the replay, I don't know how it's come off the post, but Louis Sibley's goal was absolutely fantastic, hopefully we crack on the second half and go for another, come on you Rams. Blackburn had a chance on the edge of the box, hit it on the volley, took a big deflection, but Ben Aimer reacted quickly and got down to him, pushed out for a corner. Chris Martin with the third goal for Derby. 3 0. Jason Knight taken down in the box. Easy penalty. Martin struck it well, sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. 3 0 Derby. Blackburn man slid in for a challenge late on Davis. He looked off the ground. He's been sent off straight away now. The Blackburn player's been sent off. They can't get any worse for Blackburn right now. Full time, Derby County 3, Blackburn Rovers nil. I wasn't expecting that one at the start of the day. I said a narrow 2-1 Derby County win, but Blackburn just struggled to create chances. Didn't really create anything. The best chance they had was a deflected shot, which Hamer reacted quickly to in the second half. And pushed it away but in that first off the first 20-25 minutes it was a bit even Blackburn were creating better chances through corners and crosses into the box then Derby got the goal Louis Sibley on the edge of the box struck it well slightly with his laces slash outside the foot went into the top left corner fantastic debut day goal for him like first league start goal and that sets the tone for the rest of the game in my opinion we go again forwards, Max Bird lays it off to Shinny. Shinny has the shot in the same sort of position as Sibley's goal. Keeper makes the save, Martin's on hand though to tap in the rebound. 2-0 just before half time, Waghorn has a golden opportunity. Like I described, he took it round the goalkeeper, but then it comes off the post. I don't know how it's not gone in. That second half, we did the classic what I thought we would do. We kind of sat back, we still put pressure on Blackburn, but we sat back and tried to defend this 2-0 and we did quite comfortably. Blackburn didn't really come out of the shape and they didn't fizz the ball about like I expected that I thought they would do. But Martin gets the penalty because it's Jason Knight who's taken down the box. Blatant penalty, there was a, also a penalty shot in the first half. Chris Martin on the penalty makes it 3-0 to Derby. Game's finished then. The Blackburn man gets sent off for a late silly challenge on Curtis Davis, but quite a good day for us. We've got a week now to prepare for Millwall away, which should be a good one, a tough one. I'll take a point there, but hopefully you have enjoyed this one. If you have enjoyed this one, don't forget to subscribe. We're close to 1.7K. Also, like the video and comment your opinions about the game down below. Follow my social medias in the description. I'll see you in the next one.